Welcome to From Our Perspective. I'm joined by partner John Topolowski. He specializes in fighting insurance claim denials and holding insurance companies accountable. Today we'll discuss a recent case involving a church that was denied coverage. John, thank you for joining me. Tell me more about our client and why they reached out to you. So our client is a, a church um, in the Highlands Ranch area that reached out to us because uh, they had suffered a pretty significant water loss to their property. Um, it shut down a daycare facility that they're operating, um, shut down services for them for a period of time, uh, and their insurance company had denied the claim. Um, so they were in a difficult financial position uh, in terms of trying to remediate the damage that had occurred um, and rebuild the property. And how extensive was the property damage at, at the church? It's pretty massive. The, the water um, flooded nearly the entire basement level of the church where the daycare facility, um, and then also went up through the crawl space in the facility impacting the carpet um, along uh, most of the first floor, uh, getting into the drywall, um, water will find a way. So it really found its its way throughout the entirety. It, the remediation cost alone was over $200,000 just to handle the water damage um, so that it wouldn't turn into mold um, or spread any farther. Um, that doesn't even include the amounts of begin rebuilding, recarpeting, um, drywall, the like. And what were the reasons cited by the insurance company for the claim denial? So the insurance company took an interesting position. They um, declared that the coverage was denied uh, because it was a, they termed it a flood, um, which a lot of people don't understand or know is that um, the, the use of the word flood has a very particular meaning when it comes to insurance. Um, and most insurance policies do not cover floods or damage due to floods. Um, flood is defined legally as a naturally occurring uh, phenomenon. So a uh, body of water that overflows, heavy rainfall, snow melt. In this particular situation, the water damage was due to an irrigation pipe that had burst. So it was a non-natural source. Um, so we believe that their position was incorrect under the policy. What were the main uh, legal challenges you faced in this case? Anytime that an insurance company is taking a denial position, um, they usually are taking that position after performing an investigation sometimes um, talking internally with their own in-house counsel. So they, they feel pretty confident about the, the, the spot that they're in. So it's an uphill battle when we get those claims, um, but in this particular circumstances, the facts and the law were on our side. And what was the outcome of this case? So the case is still ongoing. Um, we were able to reverse the coverage position completely, um, allowing the entire remediation bill to be paid. And right now we're working to uh, put together an estimate for rebuilding the property. Once the uh, property is rebuilt and, and back up to full operation, we'll begin the next phase, which is uh, making sure that the insurance company faces consequences for the unreasonable position that they took. And uh, what advice would you have if another organization or someone watching is in a similar situation? It's important to get um, help as early as possible. Um, a lot of these cases rely upon the evidence that you develop, um, and the longer the time passes, um, the more difficult it is to pull together that evidence. Um, and also, as much as it's about the insurance company's conduct in terms of how these claims progress, they'll try to make it about you, about what you did or didn't do. So trying to minimize that is important, which is why contacting us can um, be helpful and, and, and turn a claim coverage denial into a claim that's covered uh, in addition to getting these um, extra contractual damages for the unreasonableness of their conduct. Great advice, John. Thank you for sharing sure. your perspective. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. If you are dealing with property damage and the insurance company unreasonably denied your claim, our team can help you. Reach out to us for a case assessment on our website or give us a call.